we are going to paint 10 different winter scenes using 10 unique ideas which are going to be easy and fun the sketch needed for this painting is here you can pass the video and draw it let us start by wetting the background of the hair and also be ready with the pigment which is a mixture of cobalt blue and violet after wetting the background i started to paint it with a mixture of violet and cobalt blue as the pigment is in butter consistency it doesn't move from its place actually i want the pigment to move from its place and spread wherever the paper is wet so I'm going to tilt the board uh, in few minutes and allow the pigment to flow before that I'm adding the fine details um, the outer structure of the rabbit and the outline of the snow using a round brush I use only two brushes for any painting one is a mop brush and another is a fine tip round brush it is not necessary to have a bunch of brushes it is enough to have a couple of brushes for any watercolor painting okay now I'm going to tilt the board though I tilt the board the pigment didn't move as far as much I expected so I use my wet brush to pull the pigment towards the edges of the paper when the wet brush touches the paper the water in the brush pulls the pigment from the paper and it moves um, downwards due to the gravitation and the pigment spreads uh, towards the edges of the paper while painting on the background also be conscious about the outline of the uh, rabbit and the border of the snow uh, so that it is all defined in one single go When you are done with the background, wipe all the pigments that is collected near the masking tape to avoid the formation of cauliflower effect. Next, splatter some water over the wet area for the snowfall. Next, dilute the blue pigment that you have in the palette which is used to paint the shadow of the snow and also to paint the hair now paint the ears using the diluted pigment paint it as shown in the video After painting the ears, paint the eyes of the hair using blue which is of thick consistency. Next we are going to use feathering technique. Before going to use it, first let us see what is feathering technique in watercolor. When we paint with a pigment, it leaves hard edges. To soften the edges, we use feathering technique. After applying the pigment, clean the brush thoroughly with water. Now use the clean brush to touch the hard edges of the pigment. You can see how the edges got softened. This technique is called feathering technique which is we are going to use in painting the hair. 
under the ears under the chin and near the legs of the hair we are going to use feathering technique Even for the shadow of the snow, we are using feathering technique. At last I am splattering some white acrylic paint over the paper for the snowfall. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in another video. Until then take care. Bye bye.